Hey there, it's Farmer Brad, and this fence has been uh, very frustrating trying to keep the sheep in, and I think I'm making some progress. So, um, I went to the farm store today, and I got this Gallagher uh, fault finder, and what's nice about it is if there's a fault, it will tell you the direction. Um, let's see if I can lay this on there with, let's see. This is probably too dry to cause it, but pretty much it will tell you the direction of the fault. Uh, let me get my, yeah, let me get this. Okay, so that's definitely faulting, and it's hitting hot. And just that alone takes it down to 5.6. So if I, if I remove that, it goes to 6.7. So that's 6,700 volts which that is hitting pretty hot uh the best i had before was 3.5 and 4 and this is really helping me diagnose uh the issue uh so this has a grounding prod there it, you can disconnect it and get a just a general idea so it definitely ends up being less but it's good for just being able to diagnose the issue and then uh has this cool kind of like switchblade thing uh for testing the energizer itself uh so the things that i did first was i went to the energizer and i put the ground wire on the ground and this prod knob on the positive just to see what the energizer what the best case scenario with the energizer would be um, now I'm walking back the fence line and looking to see if there's any uh, insulators that are uh, like these need bumped a little bit so I, I had this uh, metal piece uh let me switch over to the smart switch to plug unplug i'm back so i definitely recommend putting a smart switch on um a smart switch on the energizer that way you can remotely turn it off and uh let me see if i can get this here so what i'm doing here is this has a little groove there and i'm pushing this up there and then Pounding that back. So there's about equal amount of insulation on both sides of the post. And as I continue to do that, my signal should get stronger. Strength of the fence should get stronger and stronger. This post has seen better days. Yeah, this one might be loose enough that I can just push it. Let me hammer this one and then I'll turn the fence back on and we'll see, uh, just getting a few of those, how much it's increased the power of the fence.
shut off or turn on the energizer. Gonna stick the probe in the ground. So yeah, this one was 6.7 before. Let's see what this is. 6.9, man, that is hitting hot. I do not want to get shocked by this. Wow, that's, I mean, that's, that's really good. So I'll just keep that up going around and, uh, that should knock the, the sheep back, uh, keep them from going out. Uh, so what I might do is I might corral them with these two uh, sheep and goat fence uh, just so that they really respect it. Um, yeah. Hopefully this will do the trick. Uh, I think bumping it up... Um, 2.3 K voltage should definitely help. Um, now the other thing I wanted to mention, uh, let me show you is that, uh, let's see if, okay. So this is the ground. Um, okay. Let me see if I can do this. Okay, so the ground, uh, you can't really see it, but the ground is um, this wire up here. So if they touch that one and this, they're still going to get, uh, current reading is 6.6, 6.5. So that helps if the ground is really dry and the ground isn't working, uh, this is grounded out. So I have a grounding rod over there connected to that wire and then i have a grounding rod over there and then i have a grounding rod over there then near the energizer i have two um grounding rods that i may end up trying to reroute and spread them out because ideally they're supposed to be 10 feet apart so that you get, um, and, and the more powerful energizer, the more the importance of grounding is. Uh, so hope you learned something. Uh, I'll put a link after this goes live uh, to where you can get this um, on Amazon. Unfortunately, it's not an affiliate link. Uh, so um, if you wanna support my channel, uh, go to farmerbrad.com forward slash Amazon and then search for any farming uh, pr items that you wanna purchase. And then uh, those items uh, should be, uh, give me a little kickback. Um, thanks and have a